please excuse the unconventional entrance. We like to put the fun in functional here. It appears your invitations were mysteriously sent out a little early. The facility isn't open to the public yet and hasn't been fully tested for trainees. Never mind, I guess you'll be our beta testers. Come on through. with the doors I'm afraid the unlock button should be nearby excellent button pressing you're a natural I am sorry about the mess requires an ID card. I'm sure I left mine around there somewhere. Anyway, I'm Dr. Pamela Preston, one of the founders. You'll be the very first to trial our Surgeon Simulator training program. Exciting! It's a work in progress. I'm always losing those things. This is Bob, a Barnardshire local. You'll get to know him very well indeed through the course of the program. The Surgeon Simulated Training Program is a groundbreaking new approach to surgery. Real patients, real conditions, simulated scenarios. Soon you'll be able to tackle all kinds of medical emergencies with ease and confidence. It's all terribly exciting. We'll start your training with a quick heart transplant. Don't worry, I'll walk you through it. It'll be a breeze. Oh, but... I'm not sure why that door's locked. Julian, why is that door locked? <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll have to come back later. Let's try something a little different. Onwards! this instead. We're going to attempt a leg transplant.
That gadget with the screen is a diagnostic scanner. It'll tell you what's wrong with your patient. Lesson one. Keep a close eye on Bob's blood level. If he bleeds out, it's game over. According to the scanner, Bob's got a dodgy right leg. Rip it off! Rip his right leg off and put it in the chute. Good. Now quickly pop the leg in the chute. a yellow syringe to stop Bob's bleeding. Stop Bob's bleeding with a yellow syringe. Perfect. Now, grab a fresh leg and just pop it on. Lovely work. Remember, when you rip off an appendage, Bob will bleed out very quickly. Let's continue. Looks like Bob's low on blood. Give him a top up with a red syringe first. Bob up with the red syringe. He's looking better already. Rather than just ripping off a limb, use a little more finesse this time. Why don't you grab a saw? For good sawing technique, grab the saw straight on. If you need to realign your grip, drop it and try again. Align the saw with the cutting line, place it down gently and saw back and forth until the limb drops off. Remember, if you use the saw, Bob will bleed out much more slowly. Saw his right arm off and pop a fresh one on. Saw his right arm off and pop a fresh one on. his right arm off and pop a fresh one on. Saw his right arm off and pop a fresh one on.
So that gadget with the screen is a diagnostic scanner. It'll tell you what's wrong with your patient. Lesson one, keep a close eye on Bob's blood level. If he bleeds out, it's game over. According to the scanner, Bob's got a dodgy right leg. Rip it off! Good! Now quickly pop your leg in the chute. Great! Now use a yellow syringe to stop Bob's bleeding. Now, grab a fresh leg and just pop it on. Lovely work. Remember, when you rip off an appendage, Bob will bleed out very quickly. Let's continue. Looks like Bob's low on blood. Give him a top up with a red syringe first. He's looking better already. Rather than just ripping off a limb, use a little more finesse this time. Why don't you grab a saw? For good sawing technique, grab the saw straight on. If you need to realign your grip, drop it and try again. Align the saw with the cutting line, place it down gently and saw back and forth until the limb drops off. Remember, if you use the saw, Bob will bleed out much more slowly. and pop a fresh one on.
You really are something. Now remember, for a successful appendage transplant, Bob must have all of his limbs and head attached. Let's proceed. And finally, an organ transplant. Remember to check the diagnostic scanner. To perform a successful transplant, the sick organs must come out. The rest of the organs are optional. Crack the ribs with something heavy to get at his lungs. Grab a scalpel and stick it into a lung to remove it. You can just rip organs out, but Bob will bleed out much more quickly. Remove the old lungs and pop in some new ones. Crack the ribs, remove the old lungs and pop in some new ones. and I built this place, we hope to open up the mysteries of surgery to the world. We believe anyone, no matter their background, can become a surgeon. As you can see, all it takes is a can-do attitude. Mm -hmm. 